Another beautiful day here. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. We got an all bear 408. So we've had a ton of questions. How do you wheelie? That's Razor J and he's going to teach you. No, I'm JK. Not. I'm going to learn too. I got it. So, all right, I'm going to hand this off to you, Jay. Okay. You take that. So basically you can wheelie any snowmobile. Obviously some snowmobiles are a lot easier than others. This is a race sled. It's super light. That's why I wheelie it so great. I've been on sleds there a lot harder to wheelie. Um, and obviously older sleds, you probably can't wheelie them. There's always a way, as long as you can find the hill. Um, mountain sleds, you can wheelie. Uh, like basically you can keep your feet up here and wheelie them because they have like a three inch paddle. They're 172 inches long. Does more snow help? More snow does help. Picks help, bigger paddles help. Everything else, being tall helps. Being a little heavier, I'm 200 pounds. So how I like to wheelie, obviously stand on the back, give her a little shot of gas so it digs down and uh, basically, yeah, floor it, lean back, throw everything you have in. Um, I like doing it in denser, more crustier snow, like this stuff, you know, that's kind of melted, it's old snow. The fluff, you can do it too. You just need it deep or else you're gonna hit the ground and, you know, start ripping paddles off and, uh, and lugs. So. You can stiffen up your front suspension too. That helps. The main thing we did on this one was we loosened off the limiter straps. So if you just come underneath here, it's pretty easy to do. It's these two straps right here. Basically, they were on, these ones were on super tight because they were racing the snowmobile. So what it does is brings the, when you have them tight, it brings the front of the skid up and it drops the front of the sled down basically so you don't wheelie during a race. But since we want this thing to wheelie, we loosened it. So basically you have more lugs on the ground at a time. And what that does is basically, so it just drops the skid down like that. It grabs a lot better and it wheelies a lot better. Puts First like day, less, less pressure on the skis probably. Exactly, yeah. less pressure on the skis. So, mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure there's a million different ways you could do it, but that's, I would say my first tip for doing it. Loosen off your straps find the right snow and yeah you know you could put a higher riser on it too, kind of get more more back in your standing position but if you want to wheel your snow machine your snowmobile find a deep snow bank even if it's pitched up that works too um this one basically if you want to do a quick wheelie just floor it brings it up but what i was finding is floor it and as it's coming off kind of let off to half so it doesn't come back the bumper hits and then falls down you want to bring it back so almost the bumper hits and then kind of let off and you can kind of carry it like that. So as soon as your bumper hits, all that pressure hits your bumper and knocks it back down. So loosen off your straps and uh, yeah, you can also gear it. If you want, gear it lower, get some more kick out of it, change your clutch. But I've been really lucky in wheeling a lot of snowmobiles and uh, yeah, that's my tips, tips and tricks. So. Let's show you guys uh, some examples of how to stand it straight up and uh, yeah, enjoy it.